Welcome back to Horns High Studios for this very special edition to break some news to you that uh, some new things come in here to the channel. Now, since I started doing the 666 Seconds of Murder videos in December, many of you commented that you liked the short videos and the fact I was able to pack one hell of a punch into 666 seconds or less. It's for that reason that I've been cranking out four or five of them every week, mostly on the Idaho 4 case, but also on Delphi, as well as other true crime cases that have popped up in the news. But there were some of you that commented and asking for longer videos. Now, I've been posting videos I've done with the other YouTube creators recently. Those videos are much longer than 666 seconds, typically around that one hour mark. I've also been releasing videos from the Murder Metal Mayhem podcast, but I know that content is not for everyone. So I thought maybe I needed to do something to cover all the bases. That's when the idea came to me to produce a new series here on the Murder Metal Mayhem channel. So at the time this video comes out, I'll have already started on the first episode of a new series I'm calling True Crime Deep Cuts. These videos will not be in the 666 seconds format, and there will be no set time limit. They'll be as long as they need to be to cover the subject matter that I'll be talking about. At the time of recording this video, I've got the theme music picked out. I'll play a little of that at the end of the video. I also have a logo that I designed, but thanks to Blogger Girl for making it look quite a bit better. I'll be doing these videos by myself, but I'll be utilizing guests to help me tell the stories. I will be using Blogger Girl for some of them. She did a great job in the video I posted recently from the contest that she won. I'm also going to be working with the other creators that you've seen me interview. There was a method to my madness. One of the reasons for doing those interviews was to build up a network of creators that I wanted to do collaborations with. So you're going to probably see Lucky, Andrew Myers, A.R. Hayes, Clue, and others. The first episode that I'll be doing is going to be on a theory that has come up. In a few of the recent things that I've been watching and reading about in the Idaho 4 case, I'm going to be talking about the possibility of a co-defendant in addition to Brian Koberger. It's an interesting concept to think about. I'm going to play parts of my interview that I recently did with A.R. Hayes, where he brought up the idea to me then, as well as part of the interview I did with Lucky when he spoke about the first report from the scene there in Moscow with news of a fifth victim that went to the hospital. I'll explore that idea and that maybe these things are connected, and I'll have a discussion about this as well with Blogger Girl. I haven't set a firm date for this episode going public, but it will be within a week of this video coming out. I just wanted to give you all an update on the channel and some new content coming that will be a lot different than the 666 format, but we'll have the same no-nonsense style that you've all come to expect from me. I'm very excited about this new project, and I hope you guys will like it. Please comment down below and let me know what you think about it. As we part ways, check out the logo and the theme music before you go. Thanks to all of you for your support, and especially to the Horns High Club. You guys rock. We'll see you next time.